Welcome to the Great Debate. I'm Gandhi alongside of Nexi and Best Man. And today they got a good chance to play Halo 4 before it's released. Unfortunately, I was unable to do it because I was being slaved out by MLG. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'm still here, so I'm happy about it. Uh, so today, guys, your first impressions before we get into it, what did you think? I loved it. I walked away feeling like it's a solid game. I've said it a million times. It just has to be a little bit better than Reach. And it might be a little bit better than Reach. It's the ultimate pub game. You can run around and have fun. And I'm looking forward to kicking all your asses. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it, it is a pub game. Uh, the the ordinance drops, which you're going to get into later. But uh, I, I like that, it, you know, anything, you make it better than Reach, and, you know, you're going to walk away feeling accomplished by playing <laughs> it. So, so now, uh, to clarify here, so the ordinance drops, how they work is, is you're going to get kills and assists, and there's going to be a little meter on the left side of your screen that's going to fill up, and when you get to a certain point, you get to select uh, the weapons that come down, correct? Weapons or uh, sometimes abilities. Okay, so now you had a problem with it, correct? Yeah. Well, what did you not like about it? Well, I have two instinctive problems with the ordinance drops, as they are. I think it's a cool system, I think it's unique, and I'm going to love it even if, you know, if it comes out and it's not changed, I'll be fine with that. But one, uh, and this is on a higher level, when I had my ordnance drop available to me, I had the choice between a rocket pistol, a regular pistol, a speed boost, or overshield. So which one do you think I'm going to pick? I'm going to get the overshield. I'm going to get every five kills, I'm going to get a new overshield. And when my teammates get an ordnance drop, I'm going to take their overshield too. So I just didn't feel like, yeah, it's cool, I get to select an ability, it's automatically dropped in front of me, but why wouldn't I pick the overshield? And an overshield in Halo history, you've always had to earn it. Everybody knows when it's coming up, so you have to set your team up to earn that, and you have to move toward it. Now, I get five kills and I get a free one dropped in front of me. It just didn't feel like it felt like, like it belonged in the Halo universe. Now, before I let Nick go, so the, the ordnance drop actually doesn't reset upon death. It, it stays until you get those five kills, and then you get the ordnance drop. I never died. Correct? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not completely sure, but... <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with that. Keep in mind, I haven't played the game. I only watched it. But so, Nick, thoughts? Yeah, to, to touch on that a little bit, you know, the ordinance drops, are just, it's just like a kill streak in Call of Duty. It's like getting an airstrike, you know, calling it in. It's, you know, you're rewarded for your single play. But, you know, like you said about get, picking an overshot every time, that's always what, been what Halo is. You you play 4v4 and you work around the power-ups on the map and, you know, the snipers and especially the overshields and camo. So when you get to pick it just from being rewarded for five kills, it kind of defeats the purpose of, you know, what Halo has been for the past seven years. But now, Nick, with that said, you and I have been a part of the competitive scene for a very long time. Do you see it being used in competitive play? You know, that's that's you know, that's where it gets real tricky because, we, you know, we don't want to change it that much because we don't want to draw that line between casual and competitive, but, you know, if, it, if we can implement it and test perfectly, I, I have no problem with it, but, you know, like Dre said, when you you, you play around overshield and power weapons, but so when you get it just for getting like five kills and assists or whatever, it kind of defeats the purpose of what Halo's been for the past few years. I want to touch on that question, is, and, you know, like talking about competitive play, and I project something like this. It's going to have two uses. Either one, you're always going to give your main slayer your ordinance drop and say, here's my overshield. Go earn more kills and get more ordinance drops because overshield's such a huge advantage. Or why wouldn't I have my whole team save their ordinance drops and the second that we get caught off guard and we start to lose and get spawn trapped, oh, guess what? We all four have overshield as soon as we spawn. I just see it rewarding. I mean, yes, there, there might be a metagame with it, but come on, this is a Super Smash Brothers. And to touch on that, um, you know, in the previous sales, like I said, when overshields and com uh, or power weapons come up, it, it promoted movement. So now it's like sort of taking a step back. Uh, you know, if your team is all dying and you're spawning in a corner, and you, you can just sort of camp it. It's like, oh, I got rockets, or I got the, the, the rocket pistol and uh, overshields. So here, take this, and now let's go break their setup. Instead of promoting movement around the map, to you know a more skillful way of getting overshield or rockets and uh, moving out and you know getting control back. So. So you it's think that takes the complete edge away from competitive play? Not, not the complete edge, just a certain aspect that we've always seen. That even in Reach, you know, you had the overshow coming in outside on camo, or outside on countdown, or camo, or whatever. So it, it, it's, it's just a small aspect, but, you know, I, I'm not all for it, or I'm not all against it, but, you know, I'll see when uh, the actual game comes out, how it will affect competitive play. Oh. Alright, so now with this said, guys, final thoughts. Final thought is that I played the game for five minutes. <laughs> so, I mean, I could be completely wrong, but uh, I think there's a way to do this right. And I think that way is to add maybe a 15, maybe a 30 second timer. So yes, I call down my overshield, which I'm gonna do every single time. And everybody on the map sees for 15 seconds that overshield's coming down. That way, at least I have to work for it. 
my final thought, I'm just going to get the, the scatter gun and just incinerate people, so I don't really care about your 15 <laughs> second and 30 second. Incinerations and overshields, that was what we have to look forward to in Halo 4. It sounds good, trust me. Uh, but I think that's going to do it here for the great debate. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe.